Hey y'all, Olivia Hermosa from TikTok. If you like those true crimes and verified stories, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button to Petty Tupac TV. Yeah, Chronicles. Yeah, y'all know when y'all see that word Chronicles, when I type that in, I don't know if I'm gonna do it in lowercase, but or in uppercase, but more like the uppercase so you see it. Chronicles, y'all already know. Get on that. It's hot stuff. Yes, it is. All facts. So, in this particular segment, I'm going to talk about. Let me see. Which one should I talk about? Because there's so many of them. I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about one, one, of, one of the one embarrassing moment that I was a part of in the Michigan Department of Corrections. Yes, 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 yes. I, you know, it ain't all been slick like y'all tell you. You know, sometimes you think it's stuff to always go that way. I tell y'all, sometimes, man, when you out doing, doing not or upholding something or engaging in something, it don't always go that way. Sometimes, man, they go all the, at the end, the last moment. You be prevailing and be like, you be hearing the music playing. What just happened? You know, that type of thing, man. So, here it is. Ed Ken Ross. The old Ken Ross, once again. Um, you know, large institution. Army, base, Navy, base, Marine, base, Air Force kind of base type of thing. Real huge. At least 3,000 prisoners, yes, on the compound. Uh, so big, the police really don't pay you no attention unless... You coming somewhere leaking or they, they catch you on camera doing something. So real huge, real, real huge compound. So in this particular segment, the word is some brothers in another unit were in the unit with some Europeans and they were making some homemade hooch or white lightning, as you say. It was some Europeans that had made some white lightning. You know, you know, I ain't finna get up into how you made white lightning because I only heard, heard stories. And I ain't finna repeat no stories because it might be, God might be trying to set me up for the whole dose, so I don't repeat that. But anyway, I came, I had to come out and get down to it. So what happened was, the brother was with the Europeans who had made some fire, some homemade hooch. He sat up and got, is he drank, you know, drunk with him. Didn't want to pay him all their money or any of it at all because who he thought he was. But but in the end, they turned out, ended up smashing the brother, not caring what the organization he was with or none of that. And a lot of times, they already know that they got dirty and ain't for the right thing in the organization or pass himself off like he an upstanding guy or pillar of community, but they know he get out on some other stuff and it's really not righteous or holy. You know, they don't, they, they get on you right there and if you're wrong. So, I guess he didn't want to pay them guys their money or whatever it was. And they smashed him in the laundry room. He come out. Or if it's car room or something like that. Car room or laundry room, they sell. Car room, I believe it was. Came out. They can't get their money. He wanted to give it to him. It went down in the car room. One solar has a post. Her post that stood there. While, his, while, while the other solar, you know, was getting hollered and pounded. You know, luckily there were no weapons used, but when word got to the whole compound that the Aryan nation had just jumped on the brother, things got real serious. So, and you know, uh, they had blew the horn, the siren. I mean, you know, because by the time they had did that, a couple of skirmishes had popped off. Um, some guys I got ran up on was, uh, they don't play the Ken Ross. You better not lay hands on a brother, especially if it might get back that it's of Aryan descent or of Aryan brotherhood and nature or of Aryan, you know, direction. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have the, the, the yard's going to cave in. It's going to give in. You know what I'm saying? So, because everybody's going to be standing on it. <laughs> it's not going to be enough earth to, to hold everybody up. That's how heavy it's going to get. So, make a long story short. Word gets out. Some Aryan nations just jumped on a brother in the organization. Everybody's out. They run up on guys who they've been wanting to get in anyway for the longest. Here go the excuse. 
They up in their rooms doing they want to do catching them, going there, them popping them. It's going down. They blow the horn. We all gotta go lock down. Now, man, when we lock down, it's going down. They running everybody. They passing out spears to everybody. Um, they, I guess, word getting now. They know that it's, it's it's a race. It's a race war on the flow. We locked down for about a day or two, and within that, we're only allowed to stay on our floors and move and go to child. That's no yard because of what's on the floor. So they call a few guys up front. They talk to them, whatever. But while they doing that, the, the table is already set. You know, you got a nice fork, spoon. You know, what I'm saying steak knife, butter knife. You know what I'm saying? Some biscuits over here. You got a bowl for the soup, plate for the meat. You know what I'm saying? Wine glass, water glass, crystals going down. The table set. We come out, because they didn't say it all is where they finna let it go. We come out, everybody, all the Europeans that folded. So much been took it and ransacked. Guys, Europeans who ain't had nothing to do with that was taking advantage of doing that race war or race riot up in Ken Ross. Shots out the guns. Guns was there. Old man guns. Shots out to Bobby Hall. He was there. Shots out Bobby Duke. He was there. Um, shots out Sanders X. He was there. Yeah, big head Sanders X. Yeah, Sam man, he was there. Um, anybody who you think you, you I don't believe it. Any of these guys you hear, you can say, man, that go out like that, man. But at the end, what happened was. They said, what can we do to stop y'all from coming at us and just, just going at the Euro other white guys we're going to do with? Of course, money was involved. It's always about the money. But guess what else was on the table, ladies and gentlemen, in the penitentiary of the Michigan Department of Corrections when a race war broke out and knives on the floor, guys and got stuck, punched out, property took, getting exposed off because we don't play the race game when... Two of y'all jump on one of us, you know what's going down. So in order to stop everything, they agreed to give out a certain amount of money. And the brother who got jumped on wanted one more thing. And y'all wouldn't believe what that what that was. It's the most embarrassing moment of my life that I had to be a part of that. Guess what that was? I'm going to take a sip of this water. Y'all tell me when I come back. This is going to show you. How the Michigan Department of Corrections is messed up. After they had gave up and gave in, we apologized. They, my man, them did that. Just, let's just stop what's going on. Y'all are taking, taking the wrong stuff. We finna give y'all all this money. And we good. My man said, no, I don't, I don't want, want that money. I want one more thing. And they said, what's that? I want that boy. No cap. Can't make this up. Up at Ken Ross, the old Ken Ross, when that race war broke out, man, old man guns, we shot out the old man guns in them, because they caught him up front too. Bobby Hall was there, Hall Bay. Bobby Duke, he was there. Old, old you know, dice shooting, car playing. Bobby Duke, he was there. You know what I'm saying? Couple, a few other, a lot of guys was there. If I sit back and contemplate my frame, I probably could remember a few, but I don't need to. I just just one or two references is all I need. Cause when you touch them guys, they gonna tell you that what that was. And my man, at the end of the day, to make all that stuff go away, that's exactly what he said he wanted. Aside from the money, I want that boy, and that blew my mind. I did not understand that for the love of the prophet. You just got jumped on by some Aryan guys. The whole compound come behind you. To avenge what is you don't put your hand on brother you and y'all racist guy on that tip we that, that's what, that did come out too y'all know what it is y'all might want to turn yourself inside out we want to see skin and flesh and blood right now cut yourself quick look man they fully shot cashed out and this guy said I don't I want I want that boy and they and look here man. I think anybody that was there at that time that would say, yeah, that did happen. If anybody was watching this, you was at Ken Ross back around 05, 06, 07, and that race war, race war, war broke out when they jumped on their brother. Yeah. 
He, he, he had that on him, but, but he's the victim of that brother. We all came together, man. They photoshopped, gave up money. I even came up. But they, but they were talking about, oh, he, he won't that. He don't even want no money. I'm like, I lost all respect. I lost all respect. Yeah, so, you know, Chronicles. That's the nut boy. That, well, that's one of the embarrassing moments. The most embarrassing moment in my tenure in 27 years in the Michigan Department of Corrections of being part of a support team when 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 when, when a response team when somebody gets touched when both get touched at the end of the day they let it be no oh wait, oh he tried I think he he tried to put that down set on a low key tip then one of the bodies know but they came out that that's what he wanted I don't want none of that 